It must have started around 2004. We were getting to the point with the Almira. It wasn't generating the sales success that we were after. The decision was, well, Difficult to spell, difficult to remember. So, but I think we were so confident and, and passionate that we, we took those risks. We didn't really know how it was going to go, to be very transparent. We did this clinic in Milan, and the night before I couldn't sleep because I'd already worked on the car for two and a half years. It had been, you know, I'm not going to say blood, sweat, and tears, but it had been a lot of my life. I remember the first article that uh, went when we presented the car. What is that car? Uh, how to classify it? Is that uh, what we call a C car? Is that a D car? People naturally put things in a box. On, we said, no, we, we, we don't belong to a category. Even within the company, people say, this car is, is, is strange. How many can we sell? How many? And you had really the fanatic one saying, yeah, we'd sell a lot. Any other ones here? When we tested with customers, um, I remember, you know, we were extremely anxious because, you know, we, we, we were hoping for something positive, but, you know, it was overwhelming. We basically made a car which looked absolutely right on the roads and customers loved it. We caught everyone by surprise, but I think also ourselves <laughs> because We've more than doubled the volume expectation we had when we planned the car. We were planning for six digits, so 100,000, but the request went up to uh, 240,000. We didn't expect that, so we had to ask to, to go to Sunday and say, please, build more. The car's a great success. We sold two million, and that's a phenomenal number. You take the curve, it's going from the bottom to the top, and even after seven years, the car is still increasing. So it's, it's, it's kind of a unique, unique case. If we look at the new cash guy and compare it to the old one, I think you can really see that we've kept a lot of the, the themes, we've kept the proportions and, and what it looks like. And what we've done is really listen to what a customer said and we've just made it better. Normally when you develop a car, you go for one big feature or one big wow item, and that's the big focus. But what we tried to do on new cash guy was we took the strengths of current cash guy and we called it that 100 wow strategy so it's a lot of small elements that you put together to make a big difference to the customer so for example we've improved the aerodynamics in order to improve the fuel economy you have the safety shield the nissan chassis control that that will make the car drive much better than any other crossover or suv and doing things like being the first crossover to offer a 99 gram engine powertrain combination. It's a real step forward for the segment. I mean, none of our competitors are there yet at all. The car is also now bringing to life the design identity of the future Nissan car with the front end, the big V shape uh, around the badge, uh, the character line uh, on the side that makes it dynamic. We talk right down to 0.2 of a mil. And uh, I've changed things on meters in the combi meter by 0.1 of a millimeter. I've changed fog lamp finishes by 0.5 mil because the chrome highlight isn't quite right. 
And that, that sort of detail does come through from Japan. It's got that DNA in Nissan brand. The first feedback is, is really good. I, I'm just looking every morning the number of orders we have and it's growing. And it's growing faster than I was expected. So I really trust that this car will be a success and I really hope it will be a success as big as the previous one. Well, thinking, cash guy, breathing, cash guy, sleeping, cash guy. It's it's true. It's part of. Uh...